The cat in the hat is about to appear. He's whizzing over to whisk you away on a fabulous journey today. He's coming! And now he's arrived in the thingamajigger, the thing that he drives. He's a cat and he zoodles of fun with his hairy helpers thing to a thing one. Start like that. Wherever you're going, wherever you're at, the cat in the hat knows a lot about. He knows a lot about. He knows a lot about. He knows a lot about that. <laughs> no one can get to my cookies while I'm guarding. Look out, Sally. The cookie snatcher's coming. No one gets past me, Nick. I can. Yay! <laughs> I'll show you how to keep the cookie jar safe. Right! <laughs> cookie snatchers can't sneak past me. Oh, yes, they can. Huh? Easy. <laughs> Did anyone lose a cookie jar? It's the cat. The cat in the head. He snuck up on us, too. Mmm, delicious! You should really take better care of your cookies. But how do we keep the cookies safe? You could ask a beetle. Oh. Mm. A beetle? Beetles know all about keeping things safe. But which kind of beetle should we visit? Let me see. Let's visit a big one. Hmm. If you want big, it has to be Stan the Giant Stag Beetle in the Wallowaloo Wood. Let's go and see Stan. Your mother will not mind at all if you do. <laughs> Mom! Can Nick and I go see Stan the Giant Stag Beetle and find out how to keep stuff safe? <laughs> Stan the Giant Stag Beetle? Sure. Say a giant hello from me. We will. Thanks, Mom. <laughs> we can go. We can go. I know. I know. To the thingamajigger. Buckle up. Flick the jigger, my wizard. Tips from Stag Beetle Stand, but keeping stuff safe the way beetles can. Here we go, 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 on an adventure. Go, 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 go! Welcome to the wood of Wallowaloo. Does anyone see Stan? Are giant stag beetles really big? Big for beetles, but smaller than us. Maybe we should shrink down to beetle size. Good idea. Press the shrink a doodle. <laughs> what sort of things do beetles take care of? They don't have cookie jars. Who's that on my tree stump? There's your answer. Stan likes to guard the tree stump where he lives. Get off my tree stump! Whoa! Stan's scary! Super scary! Oh. Whoa! <laughs> Stan! It's me! Oh, oh cat! Oh, you should have said you were coming! <laughs> Can you give me a hand? No problem! Ready to roll, team? One, two, three, go! Yeah. Oh, thank you so much for helping me. You're welcome. I'm Nick, and this is my friend Sally. Pleased to meet you both. See? Stan isn't scary at all. Nah, it's all just pretend. I wouldn't hurt a fly. Don't you eat flies? No, I prefer wood sap. Mm -hmm. Oh, and honeydew. Mm -mm. But you've got those scary horns. Oh, 
They're for scaring away. <laughs> I keep other bugs away from my stump by looking scary. Oh, I have an idea. We can look scary to keep sneaky cookie snatchers away from our cookie jar. Like this. Oh, not bad. Uh, uh, if you don't mind me saying, you need to look a little scarier. Boy, I can fix that. Ta-da! What do you think? Getting there. Hey, can you make yourselves look bigger? Like this? <laughs> How do we look now? <laughs> Scary monsters. Oh. <laughs> Stan's scareaway trick really does work. Well, it works for me, but other beetles have other tricks to stay safe. <laughs> Hey, you should meet Cliff the Click Beetle. Does he have a special trick? Only one of the best. <laughs> he does. You have to see it. To the thingamajigger. Bye. Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> How do we keep our cookie jar safe? We learned a neat trick from a beetle today. Stan's way to do it is called stare away. We learned a neat trick from a beetle today. A trick called scare away. There's Cliff. He doesn't look scary like Stan. Is he asleep? Let's creep up on him and find out. It's you every time, Cat. I jump, and you jump with surprise. Wow, that's a great trick. Oh, it's not just a trick. When you jump back, it gives me enough time to <clears throat> ah, unfold my wings and fly away. Is that how you keep stuff safe? Oh, it certainly keeps me safe. If anyone tries to sneak up, I give them the old click and flip treatment. How do you do it? Easy. I bend here and flip. <laughs> wow. I wish we could do that. Right. If Cookie Snatcher snuck up on us, we'd surprise them with a flip and click. Well, to flip like a beetle, that's easy to do. Just ask for some help from Thing 1 and Thing 2. Hello. <laughs> Trampoline! Now I can flip! Yay! Boing! Boing! Whee! <laughs> but we need to click, too! Hmm. Flick this stick quick to click, Nick! <laughs> cool! Let's see what you can do! Surprise us! Look! The things are pretending to be cookie snatchers! <laughs> One, two, three! <laughs> it worked! Wow! You may not look much like beetles, but you sure can click and flip! Thanks for teaching us a cool trick. It's the best! Well, not quite. Hey, have you met Bobby? <gasps> Bobby the Bobadier Beetle! You have to meet her! Let's go! See you later, Cliff! Bye! Bye now! <laughs> Keep that cookie jar safe. We just learned another neat beetle trick. Cliff's way to do it is called flip and click. We just learned another neat beetle trick. A trick called flip and click. Bobby! Hello! -y. Hello? You looking for me? We are! These are my friends Nick and Sally. They want to know how to keep sneaky snatchers away. Can you show us? Oh, I can, but are you sure you want me to? Yes, please. We hear you can do a great trick. Okay, but it can get very messy, and you need to stand back. <laughs> Way back. Ah. How about this? <laughs> if somebody nasty comes near me, this is what I do. Oh, yeah. Stinky, stinky! That stinks! Oh. Hey, you! <laughs> Sorry, I did.
Deb warn you? How do you do that? Easy. I have these two special liquids inside me, and I mix them together. Just like mixing rotten eggs and fizzy soda. <gasps> <coughs> they mix together inside me and get hot and stinky. Then I spray away. Neat, but our bodies don't work that way. We can never do a stinky spray away trick like that. No, but it's given me a great idea. Thanks, Bobby. Bye. Goodbye. <laughs> Tricks from beetles today. Stan's keep stuff safe trick is called Zero Away. Cliff, you surprise as his beetle trick. A trick called Flick and Click. Bombardier Bobby has her own way with a pop and a stink. It's called Spray. Cookies. No cookie snatcher gets past us. We'll see about that. We're going to keep you away the beetle way. Scare away! Oh my! <laughs> Click and flip! Oh, I didn't see that coming. <laughs> no, you wouldn't. No! <laughs> Stinky socks. Go, Sally! Spray away! <laughs> oh, I'm so glad I'm wearing my water. <laughs> Isn't this fun? Today, I have a very tricky question for you. There are many different kinds of beans. Which of these beans can move around on its own? Is it a cocoa bean? Or is it a green bean? Or is it a jumping bean? Did you say that it's the jumping bean? That's right! The bean moves around because there is a baby moth moving around inside. Did you get it this time? Well, next time, I'll stump you for sure. Time to take a picture with our Snapperama cameras. I'll take the picture, and I'll guess what it is. It looks like polka dots or freckles. <laughs> oh, it's a fruit, a strawberry. You're right. How come it has so many of those little yellow things? They're seeds. A strawberry has its seeds on the outside. Next time, I get to take the picture. <laughs> to get another delicious blue popsicle. And maybe one for me, too. <laughs> Cat, we can't use our tongues to get food, just to taste it. Really? Well, you should meet some of my friends with terrific tricky tongues. They use them to find, pick, and catch all kinds of things to eat. Cool. I wish we could do that with our tongues. Hmm. Maybe my friends can teach you. Want to go visit them? <gasps> Can we? Sure. Your mother will not mind at all if you do. <laughs> Mom, is it okay if we go to meet some of Cat's friends with terrific, tricky tongues? <laughs> terrific, tricky tongues? Sure. That is a real tongue twister to say. <laughs> it is. Thanks, Mom. We can go. We can go. I know. I know. To the thingamajigger.
meet creatures with tongues that are neat. They use them to find, pick, and catch what they eat. Here we go, 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 go. On an adventure, go, 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 go. First stop, the So Sunny Savannah, home to Treetop Tom the Giraffe. Tom, I brought my friends to show them your marvelous tongue. Hi, Treetop Tom. Hi. Hi. You know, my tongue might be hard to see from down there. Oh, you're so right. Pull the stilt a doodle Sally. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. Can we go a little higher? Ah! <laughs> Great idea. Cool. I've never seen beans growing on a tree before. Ow! Oh, are you okay? The tree's covered in sharp thorns. No problem. I can get you a seed pod, Nick. <gasps> Be careful, Tom. Oh! <laughs> That's what I call a real tongue twister. Amazing. But why don't you get hurt by the thorns? Well, would you like to feel my tongue? Sure. Yes. You bet. Blah. Wow. It feels so tough. That must be why the thorns don't hurt you. My, you're clever. Ooh, yummy leaves to eat. Mmm. Oh. Mm. Mm. Wow, your tongue's twisty enough to pull leaves right off the tree. <laughs> I don't think we can learn to pick food with our tongues like Tom. We'll find something you can do. <gasps> Let's visit my friends Snifty and Forrest Farazi. Stiltamadoodle, down! See ya, Tom! Bye, Tom! Thanks for visiting! <laughs> I know a song about a tongue A song that needs to be sung A giraffe's blue tongue is long, twisty and tough It doesn't mind thorns, but loves green leaves and stuff <laughs> Here we are! The Forest Farazi. What does your friend look like? Snifty's about this wide and this long. Hmm. Oh! Found her. Well, if it isn't the cat in the hat. <laughs> <laughs> Sally, Nick, meet my very close friend, Snifty the Snake. Charmed, I'm sure. Snifty just loves having visitors. <laughs> I sure do. Welcome, Nick and Sally. You smell funny. Almost like giraffe. Smell? I thought you were going to lick us. With your flicky tongue. What my tongue's really good at is smelling. Licking my tongue brings all the smells around me into my head. Oh, like sniffing with our noses brings all the smells into our heads. You got it. My tongue pops out. Picks up some smells, my tongue pops in, then I can smell those smells. Is that how you find your food? That's right. I keep flicking until I smell something good to eat. Mmm, delicious mice. Ew! I wish we could find food with our tongues. Then let's try. We'll make it a game. And when there's playing to do, I always call for thing one and thing two. I don't think I smell anything. Me either. And go. See if you can find the food, Nick and Sally. Go. Nick and Sally, use those tongues. Huh? Uh, huh? Uh. I don't think this works. You can't smell anything? Nothing. But I sure can with my nose. Mmm. Corn on the cob. Yeah, <laughs> And stinky cheese. <laughs> <laughs> nice work, things. Oh. <laughs> I think our tongues can learn to smell. Not even mice. But I sure can. 
Mmm, <laughs> lunch. See you. Bye. Thanks. See ya. See ya, Snifty. Hmm. Well, I've got one more friend who lives nearby. Colin, who uses his tongue to catch what he eats. Maybe he can teach you. Cool. Let's go. I know a song about a tongue, a song that needs to be sung. A snake has a tongue that flicks in and out. So it can smell when there's some food about. Cat, are you sure your friend's nearby? Hey, who did that? Colin! Come out, come out, wherever you are! <laughs> Nick and Sally, meet Colin Chameleon, the fastest tongue in the West. Not to mention one of the longest. And the best at hat stealing. Hi. Fastest tongue in the West, you say? We'll see about that, Ponda. <laughs> oh, I love the Wild West showdown. Let's all play. Ready, set, snap! <laughs> And again, snap! Yeah. Um, did we win? Win? Huh, of course not. You weren't even close. See? I told you he was the best. All I could see was a blur. That blur was my tongue. It's so fast, you can't even see it. I know what we need. Some not-so-fast glasses. They make quick things appear just as slow as molasses. <laughs> Okay, Colin, show us your stuff. Your tongue's not just fast, it's longer than your whole body. Oh, it's gotta be to catch delicious bugs by surprise. I wish we had tongues that could help us catch a meal, as long as that meal wasn't bugs. <laughs> <laughs> to the thingamajigger! Bye, Colin! See ya, Padna. See ya later. Fun. I know a song about a tongue, a song that needs to be sung. A chameleon's tongue is so long and so fast. Catching his lunch is always such a blast. Whether they're fast, tough, or smelly, or long, when an animal's eating a tongue, <laughs> We didn't learn any tricks that would help our tongues get food. Not so fast, Nick. I've got the perfect idea for how we can use our tongues to get food. Of course. What? Tell me. Oh, come on, tell me. Aren't you clever? <laughs> Mom, we're back and we're hungry. Can we have something to eat, please? <laughs> sure. Yes! Our tongues are pretty amazing, too, because they help us talk. Yeah, and that's my favorite way to get food. Here's a tray of tasty treats for two terrific tricky tongues. <laughs> mm, mm, thank you. Mm. Welcome to Hat Chat. Today we're going to interview a rock crab. Why are you called a rock crab anyway? Is it because you eat rocks? I'm called a rock crab because I look a bit like these rocks. We like to blend in with the rocks and sand to keep safe. But I do eat things like plants, worms, shrimp, things I can find on the beach here. Hmm, I don't see any teeth. How do you chew your food? Well, for starters, I use my claws to crunch up my food. Then I have things in my stomach that are sort of like teeth to finish breaking the food into small bits. Teeth? In your stomach? Well, they're quite different than your teeth, but they do the same job. That's so cool! If you'll excuse me now, I really must find more food. And that was our interview with a rock crab. Insects like he's crawling this 
way. He'll build a new web each and every day. See what you can find when you're searching outside. It's a world to explore in the backyard. Crickets can jump almost three feet in the air. When they rub their two wings, you hear them chirp everywhere. What's that cocoon stuck to that leaf nearby? It's a caterpillar that's turned into a butterfly. The creatures are neat. They might be under your feet. There's an adventure in store in the backyard. See what you can find when you're searching outside. It's a world to explore in the backyard. The cat in the hat knows a lot about nature. Do you? Rainbows are a very special thing found in nature. And the colors of the rainbow always line up in the very same way. Red, orange, yellow. What's next? Green. Green. Blue, indigo, violet. <laughs> I love rainbows. You can learn more about nature with the cat in the hat at pbskids.org. And now, calling all super readers. Superwise next. Thank you.